In this example, we're going to use Dask together with scikit-learn to parallelize a scikit-learn grid search across a cluster. Our example we're going to take from the scikit-learn documentation. This is uh, identifying the handwritten digits data set uh, using a two-stage pipeline, the first stage of which is a standard PCA for dimensionality reduction, and the second stage is a, is a logistic regression. Both of these components have parameters, and we want to search over those parameters to find the right ones. Uh, often this can be sort of a challenge in machine learning pipelines, and this is a common example where you sort of need a lot of computing power, because you need to try many different possible parameters. So we're just going to run this normal scikit-learn computation. This is again just straight out of the documentation. There's no Dask involved yet. This is going to take around 10 seconds, and it's trying all of these various uh, combinations. It'll take around eight and a half seconds. Now, scikit-learn on its own can parallelize. Uh, if you say that n jobs equals, say, four jobs, I have four threads on this laptop, uh, then scikit-learn can parallelize this, and we'll get a little bit of a speed up. So it'll take less than eight seconds. It'll take about seven and a half seconds. So not that great, but a little bit, a little bit of a boost. So this is an easy thing you can do to get a bit of a speed up and use many cores on your laptop. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bring Dask into the picture. There's a project, the Dask Learn project, which is instead of SK Learn, it's DK Learn, and it has more or less the same API. Uh, and now, uh, rather than use the scikit-learn grid search object, we're using the, the Dask grid search object. Uh, this will take a little bit less time. This is currently still just running on multiple threads on my local laptop, uh, but this is running in you know three and a half seconds, 3.75 seconds. And this is just showing um, how Dask can be a little bit smarter in arranging the pipeline. It can do some things in a little bit more of a clever way. However, if we happen to have a cluster nearby, which in this case we do, we happen to have a cluster of 10 machines with eight cores each, we can now run that exact same grid search across that cluster. And so you see here uh, a bunch of uh, tasks are run in our cluster, and we completed our computation around two and a half seconds. So we got a bit of a speed up. Uh, however, this computation wasn't actually large enough to use our entire cluster. See, so there's a lot of sort of white space here when we're looking at all of our tasks. So what this does is actually allows us to start maybe expanding our search space a little bit, and we can try some more parameters, uh, both on the PCA and on the logistic regression side. So I'm expanding my search space a little bit, uh, getting 10 times more um, components in the logistic regression, and uh, roughly twice the number of components in PCA run this again, uh, and you'll see that we can now uh, really saturate our cluster. All of our cores are working, and we did that whole computation in around five seconds. Uh, so now our parameters can be, maybe we can search for a better, better set of components. So again, this is showing how to use Dask together with scikit-learn uh, to parallelize a grid search operation across a cluster. 